Hey, it's Kathy, and we are at Upper Lakes Foods in Cloquet. Now, some of you may be familiar because you go to a restaurant and dine on the food that they have here. Some of you may be vendors, and this is where you get the food. But they are celebrating their 50th anniversary, and I thought that it would be very cool to talk with some of the family that have been in or part of the generation of Upper Lakes Foods. So I have Brian and Phil with me today, and you are what generation? Third generation. Third generation of the family, the Sorensons. And so what uh, family member started this? What year and how did it all start? Well, my grandfather, uh, Larry Sorensen, started it in 1967. Uh, he was initially, he was a food broker and he decided to open up his own distribution company. Um, and it's kind of, from there it just took off and here we are today. Okay, well you truncated there a lot, but because I, I remember hearing something about him on a red bicycle. So I told somebody that he was going around ped peddling vegetables. <laughs> and <laughs> what, can you explain the red bike to me? You know, actually, I can't explain the I red cannot. bike. It's just, it's, it is my grandpa though. He yeah, well, a I saw pictures. Colorful so. individual. So okay. He just. Uh, Kind of stood out in a crowd and wherever he was. <laughs> so you say that there's three generations. It, has it been every single generation has been part of it or has there been one that has gone on to do something else? Um, there are family members that uh, have not taken part in it. Uh, I think there's currently there's seven of us right now that are in the third generation. Um, we have a few, uh, few, few uh, younger cousins that aren't even old enough to work yet so Oh, but you'll be training them in? <laughs> yeah, Actually. probably. Yeah. Oh, cool. How many different positions are there at Upper Lakes Foods? Oh, there's many. Yeah. Um, you have transportation drivers, um, warehouse laborers, forklift operators, um, sanitation, purchasing, sales, oh. inside sales. Many. So, um, as I was talking with somebody before we came to shoot today, she was like, oh, I see those trucks in front of almost every restaurant I ever drive past. <laughs> and so, how far out do you go? How far out do you transport uh, what you sell? We go out to North Dakota, uh, South Dakota, mm -hmm. Minnesota, obviously, heavy in Minnesota, um, Wisconsin, Upper Michigan, uh, down into Milwaukee. Um, Soon to be Illinois. Oh, congratulations. Indiana, mm -hmm. and Missouri. Wow. All right, so now you have your 50th anniversary coming up. I know you're gonna be having a big celebration in May. And so um, what does that mean to the family? Do you wanna answer a question? You kind of let. He's good. Right? He's good at talking. <laughs> give, him, so. give him some, some time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's exciting for the family and it's exciting for everybody as a, anybody who's involved as a company because Basically, everybody who works here is considered family members. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that work here, and there's only 13 of us, so if it wasn't for everybody else, or we wouldn't be where we are today. So. True. Well, it's exciting for the community, too. Yes. Because um, it's not very long that you get, or there isn't very many um, businesses that have remained in business for as long as mm -hmm. this, and then to keep it in the family, too. Yeah. So, very cool. And it's nice to know that you're already training the young ones to, to be involved as well. Did I miss anything? Is there anything I should add? They're just happy to be done yeah. talking. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't Being grilled. Okay, well thank you very much. I appreciate you. your time. Yeah. Thank you. And again, we're excited that uh, you're in the community and celebrating your 50th. Thank you. Thank you very much.